Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, you'll see that I just posted a, a funny little uh, picture, the picture that you're seeing here, which says that Saturn's moon, Titan, has 100 times more oil than Earth. Sounds like Titan needs some freedom. And if uh, you understand <clears throat> America and its past history of, quote, liberating countries that are rich in oil, You'll find that extremely funny. Uh, nonetheless, don't get me wrong. I am first and foremost a patriot. And although I do not agree with certain things that the government does, obviously, especially when it comes to this research, I, uh, I definitely think that it's good to keep your sense of humor about these things. So as for oil found on Titan, which is the subject of this video, you know, a lot of people were asking me, how is it that they know that there's oil on Titan? I thought that oil came from fossils and biomatter, you know, like the dinosaurs. And NASA actually published an article about this, uh, where in which they talk about the fact that Titan's surface organics surpass oil reserves on Earth. So apparently Titan, which is this wonderfully beautiful and mysterious moon of the planet Saturn, which by the way, is the only other Earth-like moon in our solar system it has a very dense thick atmosphere and giant lakes and methane oceans on its surface and now they've found that Titan has hundreds of times more liquid hydrocarbons on its surface than all known oil and natural gas reserves found on Earth according to new data from NASA's Cassini spacecraft the hydrocarbons rain from the sky, collecting in vast deposits that form lakes and dunes. The new findings from the study led by Ralph Lorenz, Cassini radar team member from Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, were reported in the January 29th issue of the Geophysical Research Letters. Titan is just covered in carbon-bearing material. It's a giant factory of organic chemicals, said Lorenz. This vast carbon inventory is an important window into the geology and the climate history of Titan. Now Cassini, which has a space probe that was sent out and has taken thousands of pictures of Saturn and its moons, has mapped about 20% of Titan's surface with radar. Several hundred lakes and oceans have been observed, with each uh, of several dozen estimated to contain more hydrocarbon liquid than Earth's oil and gas reserves. The dark dunes that run along the equator contain a volume of organics several hundred times larger than Earth's coal reserves. So, proven reserves of natural gas on Earth total around 130 billion tons, enough to provide 300 times the amount of energy the entire United States uses annually for residential heating, cooling, and lighting. Dozens of Titan's lakes individually have the equivalent of at least this much energy in the form of methane and ethane. The global estimate is based mostly on views of the lakes in the northern polar regions, and as you're seeing in the images here taken by Cassini, we can see the sunlight glinting off of these massive methane oceans on the surface of Titan. And scientists estimated uh, Titan's lake depth by making some general assumptions based on lakes on Earth. They took the average area and depth of lakes on Earth, taking into account the nearby surroundings like mountains. On Earth, the lake depth is often 10 times less than the height of a nearby terrain. We also know that some lakes are more than 10 meters or so deep because they appear literally pitch black to the radar. And if they were shallow, we'd see the bottom, and we don't, said Lorenz on uh, these massively deep Titan lakes and oceans. So the question of how much liquid is on the surface is an important one because methane is a strong greenhouse gas on Titan as well as on Earth. But there's much more of it on Titan. If all the observed liquid on Titan is methane, it would only last a few million years because as methane escapes into Titan's atmosphere, it breaks down and escapes into space. If methane were to run out, Titan could become much colder. Scientists believe that methane might be supplied to the atmosphere by venting from the interior in syrovolcanic eruptions. If so, the amount of methane and the temperature on Titan may have fluctuated dramatically in Titan's past. So yeah, basically Titan is very mysterious and it makes you wonder whether a lot of these oils and reserves they're finding on Titan were truly created naturally 
or if there is possibly, or possibly in the past, uh, a species of animals that helped create these reserves just like the dinosaurs uh, here on Earth. And Titan is uh, one of the best candidates in our solar system for alien life next to Europa, the moon of Jupiter. And like I said, and as you're seeing through the images in this video of Titan, it's a beautiful moon. And we've actually landed on Titan. And we've taken these beautiful pictures of the mountainous terrain on its surface, these massive lakes and oceans. We've taken pictures of the waves on these oceans and lakes. And it's very much like Earth. Although extremely different, uh, I would not doubt that there is a likelihood of some sort of alien life on the surface. Now, we have done another video about Titan, which I want you to go and watch if you haven't already, and we will put the link to that down in the video description, where we go more in-depth about Titan and talk about just why it's so mysterious and an extremely likely candidate for a future NASA mission. And as in this uh, funny image that we tweeted earlier, I don't find it out of the realm of possibility at all that NASA and the American government would want to get there and just liberate the hell out of Titan once they see how much oil is truly there. So, again, let me know what you guys think. Definitely interesting times. We love this science news. And uh, we will keep you guys updated and uh, have more videos coming very soon. So check out our other video on Titan if you haven't already. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe on your way out. And as always, stick around and we'll see you soon. Stay safe, guys.